There can be nothing broken in the scriptures. Every word must be so. That's the way that I believe it. That's the way it's got to be. Not because I believe it, because it's the word of God. Now, if you notice, in the beginning, one word, page one in the Bible, in Genesis 1, we find out that the whole, all the sickness, all the sorrow, all the heartaches and everything that's ever happened to human beings came because one person disbelieved one word caused all this. That's the first of the Bible. In the last of the Bible, Revelation 22, the same God said, Whosoever shall take one word out of this or add one word to it. See, it must be word by word. Amen. Just the way it is. So therefore, I just take the little thing like I'm going someone always going over to you about the women uh, bobbing their hair. Now to me, as long as she does that, I don't care how saintly she does and how much she knows, she's still wrong. Yeah. She wears shorts and these clothes like that. I don't care what she does, how much she can sing, how well she can preach, whatever she could do, what kind of a life she lives, it's still that one word's broke. Yeah. Hmm? See, it's got to be every word, not a sentence, a word. One word. So the Bible is no private interpretation. It must be word by word the way it's written. We must believe that and not only believe it, but live it. If we don't live it, then we don't believe it. We just say we do. Like uh, basing back to what I said, those disciples could not explain it, but they believed it anyhow. And they made their confession and lived to it. When all the rest of them walked away from it, they stayed with it. Amen. They believed it. Amen. That's the way we do. Amen. That's the way you got to do it. Amen. No matter what anybody else does, we believe it and then we act upon it. Amen. If you don't do it, then you don't believe it. Amen. 